it takes a lot for you to find your soul tribe. And um, by a lot, I mean a lot of courage. Because to find your soul tribe, you have to find courage to be yourself out loud. Um, and so often with our energy, Cancerians, we do not allow ourselves to be ourselves out loud. Um, we are so accommodating. I read somewhere that Cancerians always have a better later are always better off later in life. And I think it's because it takes us at least the first 30 years of our life to realize that we're important and that somehow to rein ourselves in and stop being so damn distracted by what everybody else needs and have a little bit more chutzpah and sense of self-importance that we don't just throw away ourselves as soon as somebody else walks into the room. Because with our intense psychic abilities, we know what people want before they tell us. The problem is we're providing it before they even ask. So essentially they don't have to do anything to earn the best of us. And all of our energy being wasted on them. Oh, that sounds mean, but I don't give a fuck. So Cancerians, it gets difficult to find the people who you really like and you really want to be around. But here's the secret. Here's how you do it. You don't focus on the people because the people will always distract you and your empathetic ass. You focus on the activity. You focus on what it is you really love to do. And you make sure that you do it. You do the things that really engage your heart, your mind, and your soul. That inspire your courage. You do the things that you love. That you really, really love. You just do those. And inevitably, you will be surrounded by people that love the same things. And you've already eliminated a lot of the superfluous. Because those people have something in common with you that you're surrounded by. So don't fall in love on the street. Don't fall in love with some random motherfucker you met on a dating site. Go and be active in what it is you love to do. And be so happy and in love with what you do, you get distracted. And you stop thinking of anything but the enjoyment and the pleasure. See, what I know, because I'm looking and I'm, I, I'm looking at your cards, at least the the pre-reading in about seven months from now your dreams are coming true in about seven months from now all that you have intuitively felt coming toward you is here in seven months from now are you ready who cares it's coming and I think it's coming because most of you are ready, but in seven months from now, but in between what's going to happen? Well, you're going to, you're going to get distracted. You're also going to engage in life and you're going to find yourself in the middle of doing things that you really love to do in a lot of mostly new people that are there for the same reason you are because you like they like doing what you like to do but you're finding yourself you could be traveling you could be traveling to go somewhere or to a wedding um some place artistic some place that screams art it could be spain it could be france uh some place very um it's not avant-garde but but always on the cutting edge well, i guess that is avant-garde right but the point is there'll be so many interesting things around you and where you're going to go. And you will find people who will be fake and you will find people who will be irritable and untrustworthy. But in the mix, you will find people who you've always wanted in your life. 
you will find a new home. This is you reconstructing your life. It's you, it's you reconstructing where you're at and where you want to be and turning where, where you are into where you want to be. But I do see travel. I do see you taking control of your life and only engaging in those things that really inspire you and having the freedom to do so, not being stuck. And it's amazing how we find the freedom to do so when we start allowing ourselves to do so. How the actual 3D doors open up for us so fucking easy when we cast away self-limiting mindsets and just say, yeah, this is what I want. This is how it looks and this is what I'm going to get. And there is definitely a lot of little pests along the way. A lot of irritations, a lot of crap that you're going to have to deal with that is going to distract you from the amazing path you're headed down. And it's going to distract you just by challenging you. And you know what? You kind of need the distraction because if you, I, honestly, I think we would all make ourselves faint from like hyper, like hyperventilation of our dreams coming true if we knew when and when and exactly what time it was going to arrive. That's not going to happen. The path is there and we need the distraction. We need the distraction to keep ourselves from self-sabotaging. The point is you're going to find yourself doing what you love. You're going to find a lot of people doing it along with you. And a lot of these people are going to be fake motherfuckers, egotistical or really not trustworthy. But so many of them are going to be exactly who you need. And there is one specific person that you need that is coming into your life. You are going to take the lead. You are going to be the one that's asked, what is it that you want? So let's just show me the way. Guide me. Um, so much. <laughs> oh, my God. And this is what I channel. Wedding. Now, you could be going to a wedding and be surrounded by meeting new people. But what I really think this means is you are going to meet your person. If you're searching for this per person, you are going to meet your person when you um, are engaged in some sort of foreign travel or some sort of travel, some sort of putting yourself into a new circumstance or a new situation that has everything to do with your creative prowess, with your um, passions with what you are creating, with your imagination, with the life that you're putting together with your imagination, with what you're making, with your craft, with your skill set. Okay, you're coming together with this person during this time period. And there's a lot of pests. There's a lot of irritations. There's a lot of buzz. That's what I hear when I see this card. There's a lot of buzz all around you. And I think that that buzz is the irritation. A lot of vitriol, a lot of chatter, a lot of, a lot of crap that you're going to need to filter out that otherwise, if you hadn't found this area, this time and space, when you were ready, it would easily distract you and it would also discourage you. But this time it doesn't discourage you because you're a lot better at not listening to the bullshit, right? Because the buzz and the, it's like, it's like if you had come here when you were younger or less prepared, you would have gotten caught up in it and it would have destroyed you. It would have, it would have almost infected you. But now it's almost like, um, like it's not, you're going to be, you're, you're gonna still going to be bugged by it, but you're going to be like, fuck off me. Like that's, that's what it's going to be. Whereas you might've gotten distracted and caught up before. Sorry about that guys. Um, my setup here is absolutely not the best. So there's that. So sorry about that. Um, all in terms of building this new place where you belong, your home. Finding your home, and but it's the home of your design. It is maybe even the home of your dreams. And I have to say this, this 150% has to do with happiness and fulfillment. So you are definitely on that path, but it, it was the long road. 
And it was the long road. Why? Because you had to build it your way. It couldn't be somebody else's way. It had to be your way. And that's why it took longer. But you're going to be so much happier that you did it this way. Because it's going to look exactly the way that you wanted it to look. It's going to be an expression of you, an extension of you. It's not going to be anybody else's design. This is you literally being the architect and the contractor. This is you. It's also you kind of reconstructing your body, what you saw, that work, that sculpture, that, that work of art, and working out the kinks and all the bugs and maybe those things that were unhealthy. So you're actually reconstructing your physical self as well. Now, paradigm shift, this just simply means that you're going to be able to go where you want to go. You're going to have the freedom. The freedom in your mind is going to give you the freedom in reality to be able to make choices, to have a choice, to not be forced into somebody else's lanes. No, 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 no. You're going to fly above them. 100%. The violet flame is interesting. Hold on. This is confirmation that you are going, you're going to have a lot of things around you, a lot of buzz, a lot of pestering. There's just going to be a lot of buzz. A lot of things happen. In other words, everything's going to happen all at once and you're going to experience like an extreme high. Now, those can be very dangerous things, especially because all extreme highs are accompanied by extreme lows. But this is the energy of Finding a way to balance yourself out so that you don't experience the extreme low. That you come down really gradually um, and really maturely. Like you're controlling your descent. And your descent isn't into the guts of hell. Your descent is just back down to earth. In other words, how do I now go from this extreme, holy crap, I can't believe this is happening to me. This is the most amazing moment of my life. To not letting yourself get caught up in it. To, like losing yourself in it. This is you figuring out how to maintain your sense of self in the midst of complete hype, in the midst of complete crazy chaos because it's good stuff. It's good stuff that you'd want to lose yourself in. But this is you being able to maintain yourself and therefore maintain the best of what you're experiencing it and making it last long. Making something that could, if you burned all this fuel, just go away. It's like winning the lottery. It's like, it's like coming down and dealing with it maturely and cleansing out your aura when too much happens to you. Too much. There's going to be a lot. You're going to be busy. You're going to be meeting new people. You're going to be doing new things and you're going to be getting fucking married or you're going to be going to a wedding or meeting somebody and a new love is coming into your life. All of this in true Cancerian form is happening to you all the fuck at once. It always does, right? It always happens to us all at once, like for we'll go years without shit happening to us, and then whoosh, it's all at once. Now, this is the good stuff all at once, but it's still emotionally impactful, and it's just this sense of us knowing how to handle it all. You know, it's like we're not juggling two balls, we're juggling 11, we're juggling 12, and we're figuring out how to juggle them, but we don't want to keep juggling them. So put one down at a time, put one down at a time, put one down at a time, till we're just holding this little world in our hands, and we control it, and we're surrounded, and being circulated. We're the center of this universe that we created, so we don't have to juggle it and keep it in the air anymore. Our gravity is keeping it in the air all by itself, and that takes a lot of focus and a lot of self-control. Harmony. See, this is meeting somebody that's like-minded. You're a vibrational twin. You're, I don't want to say twin flame, but definitely a soulmate. This is coming in and it was destined. This is, this is something that was destined for you. So if a lot of you are experiencing heartbreak and you're experiencing just emotional letdown, guess what? This is because you weren't with the right fucking person. You weren't. I know you want to think that you were. You are absolutely not with the right person. There was somebody so much better for you. There was somebody pre-planned for you. There was somebody destined for you. You felt it all your life. The problem is, because we're crazy Cancerians, we try to make that motherfucker we met at Starbucks into this person. We think we can, like, we, we think we can change. We, we, like, we're just so sick of waiting that we make the person that's available to us the person that we want to be with. Fuck that shit. Cut that crap out. 
This is why you're in a bad relationship. This is why you keep getting your heart broken because there's the right person for you. You just got to wait for them. And the way that you wait for them is you don't wait. You stop waiting. You get engaged and involved in all this amazing stuff that you really love. And when you align yourself with what you really love, you're going to meet who you really love. That's the bottom line. This person is coming into your life. Crown chakra. Why? Because you manifested it. You created it. Crown chakra is literally being in union with the universe and having these downloads and being in harmony and synchronicity and really experiencing a, in a light and state of mind. So you are rising above. You are leveling up. You are going up a step in your life. This is a transcendent time period for you. Free. Not dictated by anybody else's wants or demands. This is also Aquarian energy. You're able to move any which way you want, just like a firefly can fly any which way they want directionally. You have the skills, you have the ability, you have the mindset, and now you have the air all around. You have the freedom. You have the freedom. And the sound of the universe is literally speaking in harmony, singing in harmony, singing in tune. This is you vibrating so fucking high that everything is harmony all around you. And it's talking to you. You are literally have learned the, in other words, you've learned the language of the universe. And now you speak to it and you make demands whenever you want. And those demands aren't demands, they're manifestations. It's literally what you were put on this planet for to create and to be like the God of your own little corner of the world that the universe put you in. And that's what you're supposed to do. And you've learned it. You've learned the skills. You're, you're connecting with the universe. You're also, in other words, creating something that is universal. People are listening to you. You're being heard. You're being paid attention to. You are being seen. This card has to do with being seen and being recognized. Finally being discovered by the right people. Okay, and then last but not least, answer the call and priestess. You're it. You were always meant to take this position, but I'm, I promise you, you were not ready for it before. Well, guess what? You are now. And it's at a time when you're not going to be intimidated by any of this. Will you be nervous? I could feel the butterflies in my stomach right now. Ultimately, Cancerians, this is you taking on a leadership role. This is you taking on the world. This is you divining your own story. You're not reading off of anybody else's script anymore. This is your script. You created it. People are reading your script. You're the one that is deciding. You're the one that is controlling. And it's not about control. It is about creative freedom, you know, and, and, and being appreciated in for something or in, in ways that you never imagined you could be because you never imagined you had a right to happiness if you were putting yourself first. Amazing what happens when you do that. Let's get into the main reading. You know that song from South Pacific? You've got to be taught to hate and fear. You've got, it's got to be drowned in your dear little ears. You have got to be carefully taught. You were carefully taught that you were shit. You were carefully taught that you didn't matter. You were carefully taught that the only way that you had any value was if you added value to other people's lives. So you were food. That's what you were taught. And you know what? It's like you finally looked into the mirror and you traced those features that you saw and you felt your your face and you you're like wait I know I've seen this somewhere before and you found you found comparable images to what you just saw in the mirror and suddenly you realized you're a fucking beast you're a fucking lion you're a fucking tiger you're a fucking predator they taught you that because you were surrounded by motherfucking mice, motherfucking deer. They, you were surrounded by prey that was dispensable. And they knew exactly who you were. And the only way to keep themselves safe was to take away everything that was unique about you. But you just discovered who the fuck you are. And you're hungry. So... Nothing is wasted. 
you will find a way, you will find treasure in this trash heap. You will also see an opportunity where others cannot. You will be able to see that there is value in something that other people throw away, in something that other people do not believe in or do not see value in. You will see that value. You will see that opportunity. You will. It's not even just about opportunity. You truly do believe in this. And even if people are telling you it's ridiculous and stupid, it doesn't matter. What matters is once you see it, you're not going to be able to unsee it and you're going to be obsessed with it. You're going to be obsessed with it. And you are going to make it into exactly what you see it as. Learn from the past. Yeah, somebody really tried to fuck you from the past. And it could have come from your home because you were in limbo with a foxy, foxy person. This is Sagittarius energy. This is Libra energy. This is be at home. This is learn from the past. This is your past taught you that your past taught you things about yourself that kept you at bay. But it was also you were surrounded by somebody who... um was really manipulative there this is a really manipulative energy um that that came in your house that that you that basically got you to just fit in or try to just make yourself fit in because you were so afraid of the dangers that were supposedly out there but the truth is this it's like even if you're not a predator, right? There's a thing of like but you're not a predator. You're not a predator. How how how, how would you keep yourself safe? A fox is a predator. An elephant is not. It's an herbivore. The two got in a fight. Who the fuck you think is going to win? Once the elephant realizes that it's got nothing on it, that the fears that were sitting outside the home that they were made to f be so afraid of are just a bunch of bullshit and your strength and your abilities make all that crap child's play. It's all of a sudden it dawning on you that you've sort of been stuck at home for too long and that your home isn't even what you thought your home was. Your home has just been this place that you fit in. And now you're broadening and expanding out. You're defining yourself is what I'm saying, Cancerians. You're defining yourself and your own sense of home. Now, see the big picture. This is Taurus energy. So, um... But it's, ground, it's grounded and enlightened Taurus energy. So this is having that beautiful perspective and that point of view where you're actually higher up than others. And you're able, it's like the better view. <laughs> you're able to see farther. It's not seeing the future, but you're able to see farther because you've reached higher. Because your, your, your perspective is now coming at a different level where nothing is blocking your view so you see something very clearly that others cannot and that is inspiring your creativity it is inspiring you to do something that seemed impossible do something that seemed like oh this was never going to happen but it is going to happen literally when pigs fly has happened you have found a way to break through that glass ceiling you have found a way to break through those things that everybody told you you never would and the way that you broke through was first what was you basically just stopped believing what everybody else was telling you and you followed your own and you followed your own instincts and when you keep following them you keep following them you keep following you just keep getting higher and higher and higher right it's like you just learned that you have wings yeah there was a lot of bullshit here and I think you're going to have to let go, let go of the way that you used to see yourself. It's like, stop believing that you're ugly because you're not. Stop believing that you're unattractive because you're not. Stop believing that you're not talented because that's not true. This is thoughts about yourself thinking that you have to blend in or that there's only one way to be beautiful. And all that shit is letting go. This is your energy. It's Cancerian. It's transformative. It's, it's, um, perfectly tidal. You know, the frog leaps between the water and the earth so easily with a great deal of charm and elegance. And but he can't be weighted down, right? He, he can't be weighted down by the past. You are who you are. And once you accept that, there's this wonderful breakthrough that happened. Check this out. 
See, this is make your dreams real. This is master weaving. This is weaving a tapestry or adding to the tapestry of your life. Um, this is also liberating yourself from the spider's web. So you could have, like I said, been very, very manipulated. It could have been by a grandparent or if this is a grandmother energy, this is somebody who's guiding you from the ether. This is somebody who's, who's literally been weaving in your favor, like Charlotte in Charlotte's web. She's been doing everything to protect you and make sure that all the flies that were trying to get at you are food. This is your way of catching those flies. Remember, frogs eat flies, right? All those pests, all those pests are now a better use. Now you're the one that gets to turn around and eat them, chomp on them. And this is you just accepting who you are, knowing your self-worth. Really interesting how you flip the switch on people who had for too long thought that they basically con controlled controlled your circuit box. You just done flipped that damn switch. Now, oh, what the heck is that? Heart and soul. <laughs> I flipped in my cleavage. Let's read that first. When making your decision, take into account what your heart and soul are saying. Sometimes the mind can deceive us, and it does all the time. Choose through love, not fear. I'm telling you. Make the choices. Do, if you love it, then say yes to it. If you don't love it, then delete it. And no, it really is that simple. Faith. Do not lose faith. The storm clouds will soon clear and the sun will shine once more. We are heading into a stormy per period. For at least the next three months, we're going to be absolutely fucked. Till the end of this year, we still have to work through all this karmic retrograde BS, this, this, this judgment, this doom and gloom. Listen. It's getting better. It's already preparing how bright the sun is going to shine on you. Peace. No matter where you are or what you're doing, inner peace is always possible. Okay. Think love and peace will follow. See, this is you realizing that you have control over your own circumstance. Even in the worst situation. Listen, faith and peace. Everything seems so crazy and so impossible right now. Oh God, it's not. Fear. Fear comes up. Why? Let's listen again. Fear comes up. I, Archangel Michael, am here to help you through the present time. I love you. I protect you and keep you safe. Trust that all is well. Accept my love and allow it to dissolve your fear. You're being protected by Archangel Michael. He is literally not going to let anything happen to you. Your fear conquer your fear the worst thing to fear is fear itself don't be afraid of your fears it's being handled and kindness a kind gesture rekindles your belief in the power of love remember to be kind to yourself remember you give yourself value cancerians if you're mean to yourself people will be mean to you you devalue who you are you will allow people to be mean to you if you allow yourself to talk to yourself unkindly or harshly. This is a sense of you recognizing that. And then finding somebody else is going to come into you. I'm telling you, this person is kind. They're gentle. They're good. They're unexpected. And they're going to stand out in the crowd that you've ended up in. They really are faith. Let's read that again because we just said, uh, trust that all is well. Accept my love. Archangel Michael is surrounding you. And allow it to dissolve your fear. And then when making your decision, take into account what your heart and soul are saying. See, you're still in a little way afraid of what your heart and soul really want. Thinking that you don't deserve it and it's not possible. That's what Archangel Michael is here to help you defeat. Sometimes the mind can deceive us. Choose through love, not fear. What is it that you love? Align yourself with what you love. Let's see what's coming into your life. I'll see you over in tarot. Link is below.